buddy Sam Schmidt's Truck Center Companies up in Mankato, Minnesota. We've got a beautiful bright yellow 2024 Freightliner Cascadia, brand new that we're gonna be going over today. Front to back, inside and out. Detroit Power. I'm gonna call it an owner op interior spec and we got a nice little surprise once we get to the interior. Something that you're not gonna see too often and something that you might wanna consider specking when you come here and get your new Freightliner Cascadia. We thought of it all on this one. We got it all covered. Aerodynamic, fuel efficient, reliable, warrantied up, and extremely, extremely comfortable for the driver. When I say we thought of everything, how many of you have the horizontal exhaust? Smells bad, noisy, when you're trying to sleep at night. So, an affordable, simple, easy, efficient option to eliminate that problem is just do a single vertical exhaust. Also adds a nice little uh, look to it with some more bright work. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty clever. That's how we do things around here, really. So, I'm not sure where we'll start on this one, but I think we'll go, as I said, front to back, and actually we'll go outside in. So let's take a look. We'll jump up to the front of this thing. We're gonna get the front done as quickly as possible because I don't want to anger our wonderful detail guy, Dave, back here. He's getting it cleaned up for us. And we don't want to be born in a barn. So let's get this thing shut. Just wanted you to see it with some sunlight, looking good. The bright package, chrome grill, chrome accents on the bumper, fog lights on the bumper. And not just any old bumper, it's painted. It looks good, aero. Painted side fairings, as you can see, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So let's just take a look at the LED headlights here. Beautiful black housings. It's got the chrome on the grill. You get that on the hood vent too. So that looks good. Man, just ties it all together. Chrome mirrors and the painted visor for a smooth, sleek look. I like that. And Freightliner also has now sound dampeners, sound fins, whatever you want to call them, fairings. I guess I don't know the technical name for them, but they do a good job of keeping the uh, aerodynamics as optimal as they can be and keeping some noise down too is another big thing with them. It keeps the interior like road noise down, the wind noise. Um, so that's cool. I'm gonna pop open the hood and we'll take a look at the beautiful DD-15. All right, let's go. DD-15 Gen 5. What better motor is there really? It's as good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. It's fuel efficient, beats anything, any Volvo, anything like that, any Peterbilt, I guess. People still drive these days once in a while. We like Peterbilt, we love Peterbilt, but there's nothing like a Cascadia with the DD15. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Totally clean, totally beautiful, ready for a long life. We love it. Compound turbos on these. The DD15 is just the greatest design. Who can beat it? And if we take a look down here, we got not enough light to see, but we got disc brakes. And the disc brakes go all the way around on this one. I'll just jump back here. Because otherwise I'm afraid I'll forget when we come back here. But disc brakes all the way around. Okay. Excellent stopping power. Great lifespan. They're just the best. Everything about it. Like I said, we do it right around here. We're gonna close the hood now. You get the idea. One last thing I'll mention, the box down here. So we do have collision mitigation on this truck. And up there in the windshield, gonna be difficult to see from here. The cameras for the lane guidance and the, well, the radar, adaptive cruise, keep a consistent distance. So going around the outside of this one, Heated chrome mirrors, beautiful Peterbilt. Again, we're not bashing them. We love Peterbilt, but they didn't do a great job with the mirrors on the new 579. Not like Freightliner has done. Freightliner has got it figured out here with the Cascadia. We got the look down mirror, nice touch. And they wanted to go, this particular customer wanted to go with Large sleeper doors on both sides. Pretty much everyone gets the small baggage doors, but they did the large sleeper doors, access doors, I call them, 
on both sides with the screened sliding windows. And up, up, up top, you've got the tilting screened windows. So you can air out your buddy if he's sleeping upper bunk. If you got a stinky team driver, well, that's not even a problem in this truck. He'll air right out. Shiny, beautiful Freightliner stainless quarter fenders to complement the beautiful vertical exhaust, the aluminum deck plate. Boom, boom, boom. We got bridge stones. Awesome Bridgestones, great fuel mileage, great traction. Two LED load lights there. Sliding fifth wheel, Holland sliding fifth wheel. This customer likes the air slide, but he's not a fan of the kingpin release valve that you can get the optional kingpin release. He'd rather get out and just know it's done right. And I don't blame him. Jump start provision, easily accessible, even easier than off the starter. We do have shore power. And as I said, large baggage doors on both sides, access doors, small baggage doors, chrome plaques for your IFTA stickers. Okay, easily access the battery box. And again, we could use a little more light. I'm gonna grab a flashlight, I think, for doing the interior. Just kidding, we don't need it. We got all premium LED lighting on this interior. Who's excited to check it out? I told you we got a surprise. Something I guarantee you've not seen much of, but we've got one here. We've got one here, we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over a little surprise. So don't leave now. The best is yet to come. And now it's time for the big reveal. Look at that, look at that. Full digital dash, we got no more needles. It's just perfect, it's just perfect. So let's get it started up and let me show you how this stuff all works in here. Cause this is pretty darn cool. Here we go, here we go. That is not actually red, there we go. That's the light from the flashlight. And we don't need to worry about any of this speedometer. This is going to show your distance setting between you and so that you can person so that you can personally decide how far, how much distance you want between the Joker in front of you and your brand new, beautiful 2024 Freightliner Cascadia. Not going to be rear ending anyone in this. All right. They've thought of it all. They thought of it all. Now let's roll through here. Obviously. We've got the light test for your pre-trip. So you hit that button and it's going to go around, test your turn signals, your four ways. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how that works nowadays. But just to be clear, engine fan on demand, hill start assist override. So you can shut that off if you don't like. If you're in a dock, something where you need to be able to roll back a little bit. Engine shutdown override. So they wanted an idle timer of 15 minutes. And we'll talk about why that is. How are they going to stay comfortable with their trucks sh sh shutting down after 15 minutes? Well, we'll go over that here in a sec. Detroit has thought of that. Between Detroit and Freightliner, absolute solution to any problem. Automatic traction control disable. So you hit that button, your wheels are going to spin, and you'll be able to buck out of whatever you're stuck in. But you don't want to be going into those kind of places, getting this beautiful truck dirty. So... It's there if you need it, but let's try to keep it clean, huh? Let's try to keep it clean. Utility light, I showed you those. I called them load lights. Back of the cab, there's two LEDs. Dome light, footwell, ambient light, and sleeper dome. Now you might ask, how many freaking dome light switches do we need here? Well, let's go over this, okay? So that right there is just a dome light. But now we're gonna hit the ambient light. Pretty darn cool. And we can even dim it if we want. Stop, stop, and then we'll go off. So that's pretty nice. Someone can be hanging out in the sleeper with some light, but without distracting you from driving. So that's all terrific. That's all totally terrific. Now we got the lights figured out. Actually, there's one more. We're gonna look down here to the pedals and we're going to hit footwell. 
orange light looks a lot brighter as you can see say over here but my phone flashlight wants to keep coming on but we're going to turn back on the ambient light and we're going to turn on the dome lights up front also we got the lights on so something that's pretty cool i noticed about these red lights up here is they are obviously directly above center of dash however if i hold my hand out here it lights up so it's actually beaming the light over here towards your steering wheel as you can see i'll turn the flashlight from my phone away from it lights up that steering wheel area so if you just need to peek at something you don't have to reach over under the center console or under the center of the dash rather you just got it right there now freightliner has a ton of options you can do on these dashes obviously first of all you can still get or you can still get the analog dash needles you can still get all that this is just seems to be where everything is heading obviously this is more of a selling feature nowadays people want this kind of stuff the newer generation obviously the older generation is not as excited about it but things catch on and things change over time so we're going to go over some things here we've gone over the switches obviously everyone knows how air conditioning works these here charger you plug in there and you have apple carplay or the samsung equivalent i can't remember what it's called but you've got the equivalent right in there so it's going to mirror your phone screen on this screen here in the dash um and then you've got options here for cubbies you can do a big cubby they did a little cubby so essentially it works good you slide your phone in there plug it into here carplay you don't have to touch your phone again until you get to your spot totally safe totally safe innovative and saving lives up here we've got two usb outlets those are just for charging which is kind of nice um and then down here we've got a standard 12 volt so there are different uh different configurations you can do of outlets you can do two 12 volts you can do a whole bunch more usbs all kinds of different options but that's what he figured would be best and i agreed so another nice thing that's pretty darn cool about these i'm gonna try to hold the phone and then show you that keep the try to keep the color right so as you can see over here we're going we're moving that blue dot up and down simply by swiping my finger across this to custom pre-selected gauges you can decide which gauges you want to come up on which bubble so you could have your axle temps first turbo pressure whatever you want to do suspension load gauge all that can be configured in easiest to do it from the factory but it can be done aftermarket also and made to show up made to display on there now over here i'm going to show you the b panel um, display here so obviously skip track or to tune your radio here we're going to do this pulls up the custom gauge screen this pulls up your switches digital switches all we've got specced on this one is the regen and then optimized idle can be controlled through this which is very nice don't have to worry about that little controller box in the back going out um it's a display it's just very convenient and aesthetically pleasing also i'll say um switches settings now hit here this will show us so if i lock the power divider it's gonna tell us unlock and obviously if you have a big truck you know um vocational truck with a bunch of lockers and dividers and stuff like that that's all going to display on there too so uh, don't shy away from this if you're a vocational customer because we can make um along with the switches along with the gauges we can really make this a well tied together unit now factory ashtray flick a little dart dust in there allen wrench here comes with it for those wheel covers on the drive axle plenty of cup holders plenty of storage space you can even rest a phone in, a in this ledge here. It's actually deep enough that it will hold stuff. And then another little cubby for, say, a phone. Um, I know a lot of guys run two phones. Now, I'm going to hope that we got enough light here to 
honor my word before we hopped in, but let's see what we can do. So this is a double bunk. As you can see, I'm not going to pull it down because we don't have the mattresses rolled out yet or anything, even winter front there for the customer. Now, the storage up here is very nice. You've got this shelf plenty deep. Okay. Then you've got cabinets latching they hold themselves up which is very nice for loading them up we just got a little scuff from the delivery drivers bringing it here we got a clean out there but we'll get it taken care of taking in a phone call here well, that's very nice very nice now we've got the bigger cubbies in the back Fit plenty of food, clothes, whatever you got to do. Microwave shelf with the ratchet strap to hold it tight. So it's not falling out. And then this customer likes to do the customer furnished refrigerator option. Let me see if I can get the cell phone light to catch this here. And so you basically can set your own refrigerator on there, a dorm fridge. I've got one sitting outside the truck. And then you get the ratchet straps that hold it tight. And it comes with the 110 volt outlets back there and a 12 volt so you could do a 12 volt fridge if you wanted to conveniently we've got two more 110s two more 12 volts now moving up here flat panel tv mount and the antenna is built into the roof of the truck and then the cable comes out right here very nice very nice now We'll move around. You've got reading lamps, one here for the lower bunk guy, one up there for the upper bunk guy. All right. Now, like I said, very nice to do the factory power inverter. Just seamless. It's installed um, properly, hooked up. As far as low voltage disconnect and everything like that is all integrated with it. And you get your... Hold the button for a sec to get that to come on. 12.4 it's just blinking because of the camera s bar bunk heater from the factory also very nice and if you don't like to lay this way to use that reading lamp you can lay this way and there's a dangly reading lamp there very nice snapped back in place up here, you've got a nice, one other nice thing here is you're sleeping upper bunk, you don't have to get too hot. Vents right there for the auxiliary HVAC in the sleeper. Opening up the large cabinet, gonna be very difficult to see, but there is a hanging rod for clothes. So if you got some fancy suits or anything, you're taken care of. Pull out writing reading eating cutting board surface with the grooves catch your juices make yourself a nice steak a little hot plate action um those dorm fridges have freezers in them a lower cubby here and obviously you've got the flaps to go over the door or the windows excuse me and those can be those can be rolled up and snapped up to themselves very nice now owner's manuals so i'll try to take a step on the bunk here see if we can't get a whole view of the cab beautiful comfortable quiet cozy i'll start the truck up once show you how quiet this thing is and it is running it's that quiet so, and like we said, the vertical exhaust is going to help keep any odor, exhaust odor, out of here. So, we'll shut it down so we don't smoke out Dave here while he's trying to clean it up for us. <clears throat> and, very cool, very cool truck. We're excited to deliver it. Customer should be just as excited himself. So... I mean, we can go over a few more things, but now some other nice little touches. Heated and ventilated seats. Very nice cloth. 
And this up here is, as I said, when we looked at it from the outside, that's your collision mitigation Detroit Assurance 5.0. Keep you safe. I'm gonna hop out. We'll do one more walk around, see if I forgot anything. So, oh yeah, keyless entry, battery shutoff switch, all aluminum rims, all Bridgestones, all LED lighting inside and out. Plenty of chrome, plenty of yellow. Wheel covers, aerodynamics. We put these mud flap hangers on here. I just think they look a little nicer. Throw our Truck Center Company's flaps on. People are very proud to have Truck Center Company's flaps. And we're proud to be sending them out. We're proud to be selling these trucks to great people in the Minnesota area. Some come from pretty far. We've got an excellent reputation. If there's anything I can do to help you out at all, new or used trucks, I'm always around. I'm always happy to talk. Feel free to give me a shout on my cell phone, call or text 507-384-1482. And I'm here for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we're looking forward to this customer enjoying this truck. Have a great day.